All right, we are back. We're doing a whole different video today. We're gonna go for a ride, and then we're actually gonna do a bit of a photo shoot. I've got my camera in the backpack, and we're gonna take some photos of the bikes and us riding. Especially in this fall weather, the leaves are changing and falling. There's still a lot on the trees. It looks really good out here at this location. But first, we're gonna get a ride in. We got the dog with us who is sometimes fun and sometimes gonna get ran over if she keeps running this close to us. This was shot last year, maybe two years ago, actually. And we're on the KTM 250. We've got another KTM 250 ahead of us. The one I'm riding is the XCW, so the wide range, and the one in front is the just regular version. And then behind, we've also got the Beta 300. So we gotta do some loops. Get warmed up and then I'm gonna get the camera out. This section here is pretty flowy. The whole area is really good pace to it. We have this log section here and then it goes over some loose rocks which we will loop back to and take some photos. The type of video is pretty different than anything I've done. The first half of it is pretty standard riding and enjoying it. In the second half I will show you the photos. If you've watched any of the photography guys it kind of goes around takes photos and they'll show you what we shot at the same time. Figuring out where to go is the best part. It's kind of a, a few different loops you can do here and they all loop in a figure of eight kind of style. So there's one side of a river and another side and you can kind of treat them as individual tracks or go back over them. The camera I have now in the backpack is the Sony a6300 um, and I only use one lens with this entire photo shoot which is an 18 to 105 f4 also a Sony which is a super versatile works well you zoom in you get some nice background blur it works really really well it's a good combination and relatively affordable setup to be honest uh, you can see those colors really popping now. It's kind of nice with the KTMs. They do pop out for all these pitches. Same with that Beta and the Red. They do stand out well. The new Kawasaki, it looks good. It's sharp. It's green, but it's, it doesn't pop as much. If I talk about the Honda one more time, people will probably unsubscribe, but that would look really good here too. Just saying. I don't know if any of you photograph or anything. Obviously, being a semi youtuber I have a lot of camera gear I like using them we've got the GoPro on right now and I think this was still the GoPro Hero 8 so this was before I upgraded I filmed this a few years ago and it's been on the back burner because it's a lot of work to make like adding the photos in unless you do it like the day of all of a sudden it's like buried in your catalog of photos it all gets uploaded to the like storage and then they're even more buried some are out of order because you've got the raw files and then you've got the kind of edited files and that's this this video took me a long time to organize that there is a pretty sweet little shootout it's a not vertical wall but a pretty steep climb and same with this you drop down do a hard left kind of have to hop around and then you have to shoot out and GoPro just doesn't do it justice. It's definitely steeper than that slope that it looked. You can see the little river in the middle there. So the one side has an open field and then this other side is a lot more windy technical log hops, ups and downs. The other side open field and then a kind of faster section even once it's into the trees it's definitely a faster section. We go back over the rocks. These are fun. We like moving them around. They're just loose, you know, bouldery style rocks. Then you get a fast section. This is the fastest section. This over the top hill section is the fastest section on this backside. Obviously, with the dog there, you can't go too fast. We normally put her away. You got some off camera jumps, come around, and then you can climb down that slope though we do do it and then you slime climb down it again it's super steep down kind of wind around things it's a little jump here but you don't want to like hit it too hard otherwise you run into a tree like I say I haven't done a video like this before so definitely keep watching if you enjoy this kind of stuff let me know uh, it's a little more 
personal, I guess, because you stop and start it. Takes a lot more work to film, produce, edit. Everything about it takes a lot more time. But I am making them anyway. I'm taking those pictures anyway. So if people like seeing the photography kind of things, uh, let me know in the comments below. The worst part about it all is riding with a backpack full of photography gear. And this one I did compress a little bit, but you still have an, a lot. And normally I bring a drone with me, which I didn't take any pictures of this time. But with the amount I fall, it is concerning. It is very concerning, and especially with river crossings and minor things like that. I have a semi-waterproof backpack, but, you know, it's still unnerving having that stuff in the backpack. It's not a hard shell. This is that kind of open field, so you kind of wind along the edges. We've added a few uh, chicanes, as you call them, just to kind of keep the pace from just being wide open. And these trees are super tight here, but it pops in and out and you'll loop around to the wide side off to the right there. And that's the fast, fast section. You have fourth, fifth gear just wide open, flying back, racing back to complete figure of eight. Adams on the Beta 300, as you can see, just has that much more pep, that much more bite to it, than the, especially the wide range of the 250. It never had a lot of bite to it. Obviously, for anyone who rides bikes, if you ride a motocross bike and you crack it, it goes. With the uh, XCW, it goes, but it's it's like a softer go, you know? This section's fun through these trees. We just added a new section to the left, which I don't think it's built yet on this video. And it's over another kind of steep rock technical section. This tree keeps getting lower each year and it's getting a little too low that you have to stop. We might have to remove it or do something to it. Obviously it's a fallen tree so it doesn't really matter, but it's kind of nice to make those obstacles, but once you have to do a near permanent stop and drag your helmet underneath it still, yeah, it loses a bit of the fun of the technicality of it. And this is definitely the Hero 8. It'd be nice with the Hero 10, you can actually adjust the camera back up, but... We're back across the river if, on this section, so this comes back down. Back to that same loop where you cross back. is exiting that back to the starting point of this video it is just off to the right there in those trees you'd loop underneath it. As I was gonna say with the figure of eight kind of loop and two connectors at the top um, you can make a lot of different tracks out of this one. Yeah so you turn right to there to go up the new section which we just built. This bridge every year gets washed away. The river in the spring runoff normally fills up. It goes higher than that fence post, which it is attached onto. So it raises like six foot for a week, and then it drops back down, and then we have to drag that heavy bridge back. And we've tried many techniques, but obviously being wooden and floating and just the water flow that quickly rushes through there with the spring runoff, every year it's got pushed away. Like a five foot fence post didn't hold it, literally just floated up and over it. But it only lasts a week when I mean, we just need to find the bridge and drag it back. It just weighs an absolute ton. Yeah, a few little logs there to cross. Like I say, this side's a little more open, a little faster. I feel like you can see how soft the suspension is too on this bike. I remember it being, it's like comfortable to ride, but in a race setting, it almost got too bouncy, too soft. And that's another downside to the XCWs. You know, it's a comfortable ride. It is made for riding long distances, but not in a race-like setting in my mind. You know, I like to have the reaction of the bike react to everything, and then it'll help me react to it. When it's a bit soft like that, it's hard to put the aggression on because it's just 
sopping it all up. All right, let's get going in the photos. Okay, doing some ride photo sessions here. Got a bit of rain coming down, the wind's picking up. Yeah, so this is that rock section. These are turning out great. You've got the foliage on the right there. I'm zoomed in quite close, obviously, but it gets that great background blur yeah, and brings that right background here. right in, so it looks really full. Obviously in post, I just brought out the shadows a lot, so it's a lot brighter and then added a little bit of vibrance to it. Not too much, like with the amount of color that's already there. As soon as you bring off the shadows, okay, it really right popped right anyway. So shooting gear right now, we've got a Sony a6300 with the um, APS-C 18-105 F4 lens. Like this lens, it's a super wide, but also quite a narrow fit too. You can get zoomed in really well. This is that little off-camera section. A little wider, maybe. Oh, one, one more. So you come in at a fairly flowy pace, and then you kind of do a- And in some rain, here we go. Do a hard chicane round, and uh, get launched off into this kind of off-camera kick. Nice, nice. The dog. Again, it's getting that height. Uh, like I was saying, this, the GoPro angle definitely doesn't show it. It's and then capturing on film as well is a tricky thing to show how steep that is. It's just a random photo. I'm sitting there. But coming down, still doesn't look that tall. That hill obviously behind them is probably twice the height of them, but it's a cool little angle. And this is coming okay. back out of it, so you shoot up. Wasn't too bad. Oh yeah, that one was good. That one was good. It was easier to leave the light behind. These should be some good ones. So we've uh, up the shutter speed to 2000. Obviously with this nice flat color, I'm letting it on shutter priority and control the way I want it. And then the... That's not the way I thought he was going. The background uh, works out just fine. That was good. I like that one. Should just enough blow to it to uh, give the good. sense of speed, but you know, still captures the action. I have no idea if that got it. Just that little hump, you can Not see it right there, and that gives you just enough kick to get a little bit of air. Switch back to just a few action shots of mine. 
We took lots more photos with it, but this video would have been 45 minutes long if I had left all those in. So here's a little ending lapse of other stuff. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. Good luck and subscribe to the video for more. Thank you.